Hello everyone, welcome back to Team Auto Trend Channel. This is your Vip Rajesh and I am here today with the brand new latest generation Hyundai Verna midsize sedan. In this midsize sedan category, till now you can easily say that the Honda City can be the say leader and uh, we also have the Volkswagen Virtus, the Skoda Slavia. But yes, the Verna has been always providing great number of features but still it had some uh, say uh, missing points for example the legroom wasn't enough and the car wasn't modern enough in terms of design but yes we have over here the latest generation Hyundai Verna which is claimed to be advanced and improved in every aspect in terms of design it is also looking very very radical and very unique and it is also providing segment besting features as well so let's take a look at this brand new generation Hyundai Verna today we have over here the SX optional DCT top spec variant with all the features listed in the brochure. So uh, yes, this car has been provided to us by Coimbatore's Chandra Hyundai showroom. So uh, we have uh, our hearty thanks for them. And let's get on with the review. But before that, please make sure to subscribe to our channel as we provide detailed reviews of all variants of all cars along with detailed news videos as well. Uh, your support is what keeps us motivated. So please don't forget to like and share this video. Best of all, you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter as well. Let's get on with the review, shall we? This video is sponsored by Bootmo.com, the spare parts expert. Any brand, any model, any spare part, they offer only genuine quality components along with the cheapest and more expensive options all at one place for you. You can check out their website at Bootmo.com or download the Bootmo app which is available for Android devices and iOS as well. You can search for the required spare part in the proper category from the scrolling menu on the home screen and you can also check out the available offers displayed on the home screen as well. Bootmo also offers return and refund assurance within 10 days of purchase. If you don't like the spare part, you can return it within 10 days without any hassle. Bootmo, the spare parts expert and quite literally the one-stop shop for all your automotive spare part needs. In terms of sheer looks and design, the new Hyundai Verna is unlike any other car in this midsize sedan category as it gets a very unique design signature uh, including new design elements as well. For example, you get to see this connected DRL, LED DRL, which runs across the width of the bonnet itself. However, it is not connected to the front grille or anything. Instead, it is just a separate element. Now, coming lower down to the bumper, you get to see this massive front grille. This is the parametric front grille design signature of Hyundai's design language. Uh, and in this uh, grille itself, you get to see the integrated LED headlamps. The top spec SX and SX optional variants get all LED headlamps. Uh, however, still the turn indicator is just a halogen bulb unit located just under the front headlamps. Uh, instead, they could have provided integrated multifunctional LED DRLs which also double up as the turn indicators but still that is not the case over here. Then on the side of the front grille, you get to see these air intakes which are actually functional air intakes and they let in the air through from the front fascia of the car all the way through the side wheels, the front wheels of the car. Uh, so the front looks definitely very very unique unlike any other car in this category and you can also see the front parking sensors as a part of the standard equipment on the top spec variants just in the front grille as well. This car, the top spec SX optional variants also provide ADAS level 2 functions for which the sensors are located over here integrated into the front grille. These are the sensors whereas the radar module, the transponder is located on top of the windshield just behind the IRBM. Next, yes, talking about the side profile. Yes, over here also the Hyundai Verna is extremely very, very unique and very modern looking. You get to see the same parametric design elements, the creases, sharp lines, similar to the global Hyundai Elantra and the Hyundai Tucson as well. And the Hyundai Verna noticeably has grown in terms of size as it is longer than the Honda City now while also providing nice proportions. Yes, this looks so very sleek and the ground clearance is not too much which means it gets proper positioning and proportions. The wheels are interesting because uh, this here is the SX optional DCT turbo variant which provides you 16 inch black color alloy wheels whereas the non-turbo variants get dual tone alloy wheels. Since this is the turbo variant you also get to see red color brake calipers However, it is only the DCT variant which provides all-wheel disc brakes. Weirdly, the rear disc brakes don't get red painted calipers, but still it's all right. It is going to be good in terms of safety given the fact that this is the most powerful midsize sedan in this category now. 
Then other design elements include the stainless steel accents uh, running across around the window line and this C pillar design element is also finished in stainless steel with the say parametric pattern over here as well. You also get to see the nicely brushed aluminium like stainless steel material on the door handles as well. And yes, the top spec SX and SX optional variants alone provide you an electric sunroof, whereas a shark fin antenna is available from the lower spec variant itself. Okay, the car looks actually very, very good from the rear angle. This is the best angle of the Hyundai Verna according to me, because these LED tail lamps are very, very unique and they are connected using an LED bar over here. There is also the bold Verna branding at the center. Uh, the mid-spec variant itself provides you reverse parking camera and since this is the 1.5 liter turbo variant you also get a separate turbo branding on the right side of the tailgate however still while you talk about the tail lamps you also don't get multifunctional led turn indicators instead you get this halogen bulb for the turn indicator along with the halogen bulb for the reverse lamp over here which is kind of integrated into this grill like design underneath the led tail lamps this is an interesting design element unlike any other car still yeah it looks good you get to see the sloping fastback like rear windshield integration and the rear windshield itself is not actually very straight it is instead curved over here like a wraparound design and looks very interesting that said, rear windshield defogger is a part of standard equipment across all variants and the rear proportion of the car is also very nice and premium looking uh, and definitely it has got some global design elements as well. So that's all about the exterior design of the new Hyundai Verna. Let's now quickly check out the interior. Yes folks, as I already said, this here is the SX optional turbo DCT automatic variant and as you can clearly see, only the turbocharged engine equipped variants get this all black interior combined with red design elements. The red design elements are quite clearly visible running across the width of the cabin itself, uh, integrating into the AC vents as well and the seats also get this black and red design theme with red color piping and red stitching in contrast so this also looks pretty good now in terms of upholstery the top spec variant gets nice quality leatherette upholstery be it the turbo or non-turbo however the non-turbo variants get a black and beige color dual tone interior color theme while still carrying forward all the design elements and the materials as well the front seats of this hyundai verna are also equipped with heated and ventilated uh, functions as you can see these are the buttons for the heating and ventilation while the corner buttons are for ventilation function the center buttons are for heating yep uh, in india i think ventilation function will be best used and in this mid-size sedan category the hyundai verna is the only car which provides power adjustable driver seat however this is not a fully six-way power adjustable driver seat instead you get only four-way adjustment uh, as powered for example, the forward and rear sliding and the recline angle of the seats. These are the only things that are powered. Uh, however, the height adjustment is still provided with a manual lever for the function. So this is one thing to be noted. Apart from that, the Hyundai Verna also provides a whole lot of features and equipment as standard. So this is how the display looks like and this is how the dashboard looks like. Uh, the overall design is very very modern unlike any other Hyundai car it is significantly evolved over the years and looks very very high tech while also providing a whole lot of features and nice design touches as well for example yes this AC console as you can see this is an automatic climate control console which is available from the mid variant itself however this is dual purpose yes if you press this button over here the display totally changes this is to control the touchscreen system. Yes, this is a dual purpose uh, console over here for the AC. And if you press this, you can control the AC. And if you press this again, you can control the touchscreen system related items. So this is quite nice and very neatly integrated. Uh, then there are the twin dual screens available for the driver, including the massive 10.25 inch touchscreen system, along with the massive 10.25 inch driver instrument cluster digital instrument cluster display as well this provides a whole lot of uh, features integrated into it and this can be controlled using the buttons over here yeah you have tire pressure monitoring system you have adas level 2 monitoring systems the functions as well you have compass and everything this is quite good and yes this steering wheel obviously provides tilt and telescopic adjustment also as standard uh, across 
say most of the variants except for the base variant I guess and uh, this car as I already said also gets ADAS level functions including adaptive cruise control only for the automatic variants including the IBT or DCT while the manual variants get other ADAS level uh, functions including say autonomous emergency braking and other stuff. Uh, yes, this car also gets cruise control for which the controls are located over here and you also get the controls for the uh, say lane keeping assist and other stuff smart cruise control is available only for the automatics and similarly the paddle shifters are also available only for the automatics then other features include automatic led headlamps and you also get uh, say this massive touchscreen system which also provides voice commands which can uh, control the sunroof and other stuff as well say for example let's just try that out open sunroof opening the sunroof Yep. Yes, the SX and SX optional variants also get electric sunroof and uh, both variants also get Blue Link connected car technology uh, using which you can simply remote start the car uh, maybe by using the phone Blue Link app as well or you can use this key for button over here while long pressing this third button you can remote start the car itself. Then only the DCT variants get this electronic parking brake with auto hold function which is a significant improvement over every other sedan in this midsize sedan category. Then other stuff include this 7 speed DCT automatic transmission lever. You also have multiple drive mode selector over here including economy, normal and sport modes. You also have reverse parking camera. Uh, I expected 360 degree surround view camera for this new Hyundai Verna. However, still they are still providing only reverse parking camera. So, yep, that is one small disappointment. But apart from that, you have a whole other features, including, uh, yes, wireless charging facility over here. And let me look for my phone first. Okay, so my phone is placed inside this armrest. This armrest console itself is quite interesting because you have sliding function. It is quite nice and soft and comfy. And this bucket over here, it can be easily removed and, uh, say, adapted according to your needs, basic, based on your, say, uh, size of your small things if you are going to place a small bag over here you can easily remove this so that's how nice they have designed it then similar to some german mercedes benz cars you also have this pop out cup holder pressing this button over here will reveal the cup holder over here and you can simply lock it away if you don't want to use that so these are quite nicely thought out design elements of the Hyundai Verna. Apart from that, you have the usual stuff, including all four power windows with one touch down and one touch up function for the driver window alone. You also have auto folding VMs. And on the right side of the driver, you get to see the engine idle start stop function, which is now standard across almost all cars of Hyundai. And you also have uh, ESP traction control with hill hold along with brake assist. Uh, however, the ESP traction control with hill hold are available only from the uh, say S variant onwards, not available on the base level E variant. This is quite a significant uh, thing to be noted. That said, the top spec variants, the SX and SX optional also provides you uh, smart key access with push button start which is conveniently located over here away from the hands of your children so this is quite nice now in terms of material and design elements you have nicely soft leatherette padding running across the width of the dashboard over here very very nice and very very premium similarly on the door pads you also get to see this very incredibly soft and smooth leatherette padding on the door armrest similarly the material over here on the mid area of the doors are also soft touch and soft feel these are still hard plastics but still when you touch this area it is quite nice and smooth that's how good it is and integrated into this door panel over here are the interior ambient lightings as you can see you get to see these streaks on the door pads over here and the same ambient lighting is carried forward under the footwell area and running across the width of the dashboard also over here as you can see Interior ambient lighting is customizable according to say multiple colors. Let's just uh, try changing that using this touchscreen system. Vehicle, vehicle settings, lights, ambient lighting, color. Yeah, you have a whole lot of color options and you can also set custom color. Just simply select whatever color you like and that is going to be available on display across the dashboard and on the door pads as well. So this is a really nice feature, nicely premium touch. However, still the touchscreen system lacks 360 degree surround view camera. Yep, uh, 
okay so those are all the features available over here and uh, yeah okay i guess i have covered everything uh, coming to the roof you have the auto dimming electrochromatic irvm also integrating the blue link telematic functions including sos emergency services and all and you don't have surprisingly a sunglass holder which is quite a weird thing uh, that said you get led interior cabin lamps you also have this metal like looking uh, say knob for the sunroof control and this sunroof is available from the sx variant itself the good part about the new verna is that six airbags are available across all variants right from the base level e variant you have the assurance of six airbags which is going to be better in terms of safety all right then let's now check out the rear seats one area where the previous hyundai verna was weak uh, was the rear seat comfort and legroom however this new verna is longer than the honda city which means it is going to provide a whole lot of legroom and space in fact segment besting space i expect and that's what i get you have a whole lot of legroom to spread out your knees and uh, good level of foot room as well so yep this is going to be a proper comfy mid-size sedan for long drive as well this is the dashboard view from the rear seats and as you can see it is very modern very nice uh, also having good quality materials also providing a whole lot of standard safety features as well talking about rear seat comfort first you have these rear ac vents which are available from the second level s variant onwards and you surprisingly you also get two c type usb charging ports available for the rear seat passengers as well along with a phone storage pocket at the end of the center console yes the rear seats also get a center armrest which is also with the same leatherette black material also integrating couple cup holders the good part about the new verna is that you have two individual adjustable headrests for the rear seat passengers available as standard along with proper three three-point seat belts including a three-point seat belt for the center passenger as well this is a serious improvement in terms of safety then you have isofix child seat mounts also available as standard and uh, talking about other convenience stuff the rear windshield also gets this retractable manual sun blind on the top spec sx and optional variants which is going to be good if you are driving in hot summer uh, that said the side windows could also have used the manual sun blind curtain similar to the hyundai creta but still we have not provided that that said the rear doors are also giving you the same level of quality plush materials and the design which is going to be good for a long term ownership then yes you have both branded speakers Yes, the top spec SX optional variant provides you eight Bose branded speakers, including a subwoofer in the boot, which I'll show you later. So audio quality is also going to be fantastic, uh, provided the fact that the overall space, comfort, legroom and everything is properly good. In terms of comfort, yes, the thigh support is also significantly improved. As you can see, the seat squab is now extended so that you get maximum under thigh support, even for a guy like me. Uh, I have got long legs, even though... Uh, the support provided by these rear seats are pretty good then in terms of other storage stuff you have nice one liter bottle holders on all doors that said the front doors also provide you another small bottle holder integrated so pretty good in terms of overall practicality comfort space and everything and including safety as well let's now check out the boot space shall we since this new hyundai verna has grown longer than the honda city uh, the boot space is also expected to be significantly larger and yes, as I expected, this new Hyundai Verna provides 528 litres of luggage capacity which is best in segment currently. You have a whole lot of area to store your luggage and this luggage area itself extends all the way to the back of the rear seats which means you can store a lot of stuff over here. That said, no other features integrated into this boot area however on the top of the boot area you get to see this subwoofer over here this is an interesting positioning for the subwoofer and you also get to see a yellow boot lamp available as standard now in terms of spare wheel while this car the top spec variants provide you 16 inch alloy wheels all variants still get 15 inch space saver steel wheel available as standard which can be used for temporary usage only so yep that was all about the boot area let's now open the bonnet and check out the engine just like the previous hyundai verna this new verna is also available with two different petrol engine options however the diesel engine has been discontinued so uh, yes this here is the sx optional dct variant which means under this bonnet oh my god 
Oh wow, as I expected, this Verna has been improved in terms of overall build quality and the weight itself, as the bonnet itself is significantly very, very heavy when compared to the previous version. So this here is the uh, Hyundai's latest 1.5 litre turbocharged TGDI uh, turbo petrol engine, producing 160 PS of maximum power and 253 Newton meters of maximum torque, which means this currently is the most powerful engine in the midsize sedan category currently in India. Uh, this engine is claimed to be also incredibly smooth while also providing segment besting efficiency as well. Almost up to 19 km per litre is what Hyundai claims, so that is significantly awesome. Then apart from this engine, you have uh, the 1.5 litre non-turbo MPI 4-cylinder petrol engine which comes with a 6-speed manual transmission and a CVT or IVT automatic transmission option. That engine is also claimed to provide almost 19 to 20 km per litre in terms of mileage. This turbo engine is also available with a 6-speed manual gearbox. Uh, however, only the DCT version gets the all-wheel disc brake setup in terms of safety. Yep. Still, sadly, no diesel engine option as this new Verna is available only with the petrol engine option. Alright then, let's now check out the pricing and value of this new Verna. So folks, that was a detailed walk around review of the brand new generation Hyundai Verna midsize sedans, top spec SX optional DCT variant. This new Verna seems to do almost everything right, with segment besting levels of rear seat space, a whole lot of comfort and convenience equipment, also offering impressive standard safety features, along with the most powerful petrol engine in this category. While we are unable to drive the car right now, I will soon be bringing you a detailed drive review, but in this price range, when compared to every other rival, this new Verna seems to be the best all-rounder value for money package. So do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this brand new generation Hyundai Verna. Meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.